Hello, hello. Uh, it is a, a secret pre-record teehee. How is everyone doing? Um, there was a state of play today, so I figured I might as well watch that. Oh, boop, there we go. <laughs> anyway, let us begin. There's almost about 40 minutes to it. So yeah, this will be, this will be interesting. I don't know if I have anything that I'm like specifically uh, waiting for, but you know, maybe something will surprise me. Maybe I will be pleasantly surprised instead of just, well, that happened. <laughs> but yes, get your notes ready, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who wants to see me react to things, but I like watching them, so I figured I might as well record them anyway. You know? Astrobot. I've been watching someone play this. It's very cute. It seems like a very good game. Uh, oh shoot, what's that guy? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I keep wanting to say Dishonored. It's not Dishonored! I don't know, it's a someone. I need to- I'm gonna turn it up just a pinch. Just a little bit. This DLC already? Ooh. Looking very difficult and challenging, but in like a good way. That's just a Sonic level. <laughs> I think- Oh, ten new bots. Oh no. <laughs> What's her face from that recent game? Uh, uh, that? Yeah, it's What's her face from the, the Pretty Lady game. I like the music from it too. Ooh, free add on. That's nice. I'm Nicholas Doucet, the studio head at Team Asobi. You could have oh, been happier whoop. with the reception of that song and to see how much joy Astro is bringing to homes all around the world. On behalf of Tim Sobi, thank you so much. Now we still have a few surprises. Tim Soy. Today's trailer was a sneak peek at the DLC we released later this year at no additional cost. We'll have more to now, out of the way. For now, let's enjoy the state of play. You. Um, is this not the. Okay, no, it is. I think. Listen to me, burnt one. The burnt in the what? Walk, the midnight walk. You better be sure to keep your spark safe and burning. While I was in the black, I had. Oh, lost in random. Okay, I can see. A monster in the woods. The style. Interesting. I'm very interested in how weird this looks. <laughs> oh man. It's got a... I hesitate to say good vibe because, oh gosh. Uh, did I freeze? Oh gosh, I froze, I think. Oh no, everything's borked. <laughs> Oh wait, no, is it not? Hello, hello? Hello, hello? Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, I guess my computer froze for a second. We're fine. Well, whatever happens with that will be... But yeah, this looks really interesting. I like the claymation. I'm hesitant to say that it's... Oh, what was I gonna say? Like... Uh, a very nice look. It doesn't look nice, but in the intentional kind of way. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Moonhood. I forget, what was the name of that? <laughs> I don't remember when it happened. Uh, uh. But I remember how I felt. Playmation game. Father told us to hide when they came to our house. I'm taking notes because I always forget things away. by the end. Ooh, well, this is. But we 
dog. Mother always said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. I I don't want that living under my bed. Okay, okay, interesting. I like the, the weird body contortion. It's a very interesting choice. Ooh. This game's got some good art direction. I'm digging, I'm digging. It looks kind of Souls-like, as in I don't know if I'll actually be able to or be playing it, but... Oh boy. Is this in any relation to control? I don't think so. I think control is the game that I'm thinking of. I don't think it has any relation. Hell is us. I need to see more before making a real decision on that, but it looks cool. My story is a tale of rules rewritten by nuclear fire. VR, VR, VR. Oh, hey, Serda. Have you seen Yana? Something happened. She happened. Wandering out in the metro alone. I need to go after her. Their bodies arranged in some sort of ritual. Please, oh dear. Be all right. Is this uh one of them dying lights? Maybe not. I keep hearing other voices on the radio. You said there were people there. Oh dear. Did you not hear any of that? I would say why not just always have the mask on? I'm seeing things. Hearing things. Especially considering for the most part. Those kind of masks are always filtering. So you don't really get extended life out of it by not wearing it. Oh, Metro. Okay. It's a Metro game. Where are those? Cacao games. Oh. Like Cacao Talk? I guess they funded whatever this is you humans slaughtered each other until the whole world if if that is what it is then uh immobile funded interesting you have been granted another chance in auroria it must be the will of your it's an mmo i clocked those physics i still have no trust in your kind Hung out. Okay, okay. Cool lady. Getting destroyed. I would get beat up so much more than this, I guarantee it. Ooh, nice dodge. Oh, lizard. Online multiplayer requires PS5 or er, PS Plus. It's not too out of the ordinary, unfortunately. If you survive this trial, Miss Witcher? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Perhaps. Archie Age. One Archie Aggie. Chronicles. Interesting. It. It doesn't look bad, but it looks a little limited. Not enough there that's unique, you know? Pow World? I have read no details, but apparently Pow World is getting sued by Nintendo. I, supposedly for like... I think for some kind of like technology thing, not just because it's Pokemon with guns. Not for copyright, but for some other proprietary whatever however like you you cannot deny it's literally just pokemon you know <laughs> you can't deny 
But hey, if you enjoy it, I mean, gosh, that, that green Pokemon. Not Pokemon, the green pal. Uh, hello there. Uh, the, the Heisei looking dude. <laughs> Out today. Ooh. Well, I guess if you like that. Thanks to Pocket Pair for that new look at Pal World, an incredible open world survival game that's incredible. On the PlayStation 5 console. We have a few more games with breaking news today, starting with the return of two beloved RPGs from the original PlayStation. Oh. Your dreams, <gasps> magical thoughts. Lunar. All things are real unless you dream they're not. In your dreams, love this is, is a beautiful song. I have a feeling it's going to be, uh, that shot not listen, but you know. Lunar, the Silver Star story complete, and Lunar 2, Eternal Blue complete. I like the faces on those guys. Widescreen mode and more. Oh, fun. Oh, oh, classic animation. So classic. Delicious. Lunar Remastered Collection. Oh, man. PS5 and PS4 in spring 2025. Two updates on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. First, the Radical Reptiles DLC. No oh boy. Which adds Mondo Gecko and Mona Lisa as playable characters. Mona Lisa. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> That's adorable. In game soundtrack featuring some amazing guest composers. Oh, cute. Both of these updates arrive later today. I don't know. I'm not much of a beat em up person, but I like the character of it. Oh, Sanic. <laughs> Sanic. <gasps> oh, heck. Do I need to finally play? Is this like a... What? And yes, you heard right. Keanu Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow Generation as Reeves. part of the upcoming oh, Sonic right. the Hedgehog 3 movie pack. This update is inspired by scenes from the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie and arrives December 12th. The Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack is included in the digital oh boy. deluxe edition, which lets you play the game Ugh. three days ahead of its October 25th. No, release. stop with those stupid pre-release things. Anyway, do I need to play a Sonic Generations? I guarantee I will suck at it. I am not a platformer. But... え、手作りの情報を使ったファンタジーアンネオディメンション。え、150も作りました。そしてランダムエンカウントを貯めて、ダイヤモンドを守り込んでいます。あ、いや。When the world ends with you. Did that kind of fun too? Oh, December. We're just over a month away from the release of Dragon Age: The Veil Guard. Let's check in with Your Bio boy. Electronic Arts for an extended look at a climax. I'm sure battle. all the people that are into Dragon Age, the real fans, are going to be so excited. Soon. We've gotten word from the wardens. Have they found Gilanea? Scenes from the game yet, story. I guess, oh, spoilers if you are excited for the game and don't want to see this. Rook, you made it. Good. Wouldn't miss it. We have unfinished business with that dragon. We've tracked it to a ruined tower nearby. That lair is a death trap. We need to lure her out to have any chance. So we challenge her, draw the dragon out into the open, then attack. <gasps> it's down there. There, I see it. I didn't see it. Oh, that is some cool armor. And the horns. Everyone, oh, those horns are so cool, too. One's just like a gem. Wait for it. I like Come the on. style of this. Come on. 
Woo! Goodbye. It's a Night Fury. Toothless. No, that is not toothless. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's not toothless. Corius the Ice Talon. Corius? Corius, probably. Uh, quick recover. Ooh, action combat. I don't know, it's not like that's anything new, I think, but I enjoy action combat. Even though I die a ton, but hey, it's better than waiting five turns to die. My death becomes more swift. Ooh. Interesting. Nice. Oh yeah, and it's got some kind of... Vaguely... Oh, the, the, the strategy-based bits too. Ooh! Let's pretend this is Monster Hunter, you know? Also, we're not seeing any UI from the characters aside from that, like, strategy part. There's no health bar. So, you know, I guess they're maybe still finalizing that. Or maybe they just don't want to show it because it takes up screen space that they wanted to show off how pretty it looks. It does look pretty. Background is quite nice. That uh, dragon's pretty crazy looking too. It's kind of a bare open field though, but I get it. You know, when you're fighting, that's just kind of what it tends to be. <laughs> oh boy. Oh dear. Hey yo. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. <laughs> that one just gets slapped. Everyone else gets eaten. Did I say eaten? Oh. Interesting. Okay. I usually rag on these things for dragging on. At least this is interesting. However, I will say, like kind of ready for another thing. We've only got, like, you know, just over 30 minutes of game stuff total. Yeah, because, like, 10 of it at least was not game. This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. <gasps> Epic Games Publishing. The FBC's research department set up a facility. The Lake House. Oh. If I had lock you who see clue what was waiting for us in there I would have just kept on driving is this control this might be control Federal Bureau of control at least I've never played it but one of my friends did and they really liked it so if there's more of that game then Awesome. <laughs> oh boy. The painting. The evil painting. Oh, it's Alan Wake. The lake house. Okay. Mubby. An Alan Wacky. No. Firearm is mine. Oh yeah, club. <laughs> club the simulator. Is that bird going through ground? <laughs> oh, this must be a hitman, maybe? I don't know. Feels not quite like hitman, but maybe it is. Intuitive gestures. Punch. <laughs> Beep boop pop. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I think this is a hitman, maybe. Yes. 
frying pan. Who'd have thought? Yeah. <laughs> so funny, him with the VR headset. Oh my goodness. I get it, but it's so funny. I need to get back to VR. I was hoping that the 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 Vroid uh, update would happen sooner. That's kind of what I was banking on, but uh, that ain't happening. So, agony, agony, reward. Oh, okay, it's a remake, or at least a remaster. What madness is this? I don't know what game this is. Oh. I know there's only so much they can do. With, like, such an old game. But some of this is kind of funny. <laughs> it's, like, not that much more HD, at least, like, shape-wise. It's just textures. The future has always been written. Soul Reaver, Legacy of Cain. Cain. Okay. Legacy Interesting. Cain, Soul Reaver, I, I have a feeling Celebrate maybe if you play those games, games as youngins, you'd be more into that. It was not anything for me, though. Era also inspired Fear the Spotlight from Blumhouse Ooh. Games. It brings atmospheric polygonal scares to Ooh, PS5 and should I PS4 play this game? October 22nd. Should I play this game for Halloween? Just go home, Viv. It looks interesting. Oh, I'm Sadako. Yeah, the spotlight. So, Alright. At last, we've returned to our ancestral land. A gasp that might be on the short list. Build villages and nurture vast ecosystems in Towers of Agazba. Oh. Now we've got our other this cute... This colorful world includes unique creatures. Uh, a peculiar we've got our cute building game. And waiting, eventually. Other players to visit your island. This is very interesting looking. I like the... Towers of Agazba launches into early access this November. I'm... I'm... Interested in the aesthetic, at least. Split screen mode to Lego Fortnite this October. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. This feature enables friends and family to explore the world and build villages together while playing on the same PS5 or PS4. That's nice. And in other Fortnite news, the new Fortnite Where are we dropping? Edition DualSense wireless controller arrives later this year, with pre-orders starting October 3rd. Well, I wasn't gonna get it anyway, but I did just buy my own. Uh, Next, controller of the standard like Dynasty fancy blue Warriors. one and the light blue is ready to share the release date let's take i was gonna go with a red one again but then i decided nah let's just be fancy <gasps> you have crossed paths with men who may one day bring about order order until then you must adapt to the chaos and find a way to survive so choose your path wisely I feel like we've probably seen this, or at least a hint of this before. It's a, it's a Muso, I think. One of them. I don't know. How do people feel about this series at this point? I think there was one a while ago that was not good at all, but has has Koi Tecmo like redeemed themselves? <laughs> Is it back to being? Fun head empty game with like a billion things you can hack and slash, or are they putting more attention into like the? I don't know. They were they're putting a lot more attention into like you know Zelda warriors and stuff. So maybe that took away their like A team, and now maybe it's back to the main lines. Who knows? I don't know. It looks pretty decent though. Hopefully it. Stands up. Because <laughs> it sucks when games suck. When games suck. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors. Origins. 
Become the Dynasty Warrior. Omega Force. I was still hoping that I imagined the whole thing. Oh. Carved into my mind. Monster Hunter? Monster oh, Hunter. Yes, I saw a feline. To some of the other units from the expedition. Mine Look included. at them. <gasps> Look at that cat. Uh, this forest is amazing. Oh, boy. My fur isn't built for this kind of weather. It's causing the water currents to surge too. Oh man, I'm so ready. I really need to finish Iceborne now. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Big fish. Big, big fish. Oh. I love Monster Hunter. I was about to say, you can fish? You can fish in other Monster Hunters, too. I just never do. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. We got our not-wire bug. Nice. Ooh, cool. Oh, gosh, that bear. <laughs> Yo, guys, look at them. <laughs> I love... Our handler looks very cute. World, uh, handler was also very cute. What? This lady also looks very cute. There are. No dear. I'm assuming that's our handler, at least. <laughs> oh, hey. Someone's in trouble. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. What is that thing? An extinct species. <laughs> extinct. You're a hunter. You've it's a not Magnamalo. It's true. We do nothing. I do nothing. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like an interesting weapon. A trumpet looking thing. Oh, uh, Date, give me Date! Give it to me! February 28th! Oh. Heck yeah. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, a little bit of save data bonus, heck yeah. Which means I get those. <laughs> yeah! And I am very glad that it is cross-play. So I'm gonna get it on PS5, and then when people are able, we will hunt. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. I don't really care about digital art books. I like physical art books. Uh, I don't need much more. I just, I know I like Monster Hunter. I don't need to know everything before going in. Hi. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then the okay, Lego. Cheap, so let's get this a hunter with a mysterious past. Eh. Her, uh, very heroic friends. I don't know. It looks cute. If you like Lego, I don't know. I feel like Lego games are generally like pretty decent, so I don't think it's gonna be bad. But like, I don't know. It, it feels like a weird tie-in. Right? Because usually it's stuff like Star Wars. And this is already a video game. I don't know. 
Interesting. Come and join the party at Mother's heart. It also just kind of feels like weird for Aloy. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention the pre-order. Anyway. Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Zatani. We are so excited for everyone to get their hands on Lego Horizon Adventures when it launches on November 14th. And Aloy has more good news on the horizon. Horizon Forbidden Forbiddens. Oh. Aloy's original adventure, Horizon oh, Zero, Zero Dawn Remastered. Remastered for PS5 and PC. Okay. And Nixes. I Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered have not finished. Ten hours of recorded conversation mode. Oh wow. Countless graphical improvements that bring the game to the same visual fidelity as Horizon Forbidden West. Ooh. I should get back to this game someday. I mean, I like Zelda, and this is in many ways Zelda. <laughs> the new version of Horizon Zero Dawn will arrive October 31st, and anyone who owns the original PS5 game say. will be able to upgrade to the new PS5 version for $9.99. Okay, that's eh, that's fine. Station blog for more details and watch the full trailer. To They've been free up to this point, but I kind of figured that eventually they're gonna start making them cost a little bit. Oh, this lady. Action -packed world of Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade, that's what it is. Ah. Uh, I have the lasers pointed at her butt. <laughs> we'll never know, and it's fine. I don't know. I've got no thoughts about the game. <laughs> People liked it, that's good. But that's not all. And... Near? S -s stellar Near? Sci fi worlds collide in the Stellar Blade and Near Automata collaboration. Coming oh. to Stellar Blade later this year. Interesting. Interesting. God, Near Automata is another game that I need to play. Gosh dang it. For PlayStation Plus. There's too many games. October are WWE 2K24. Oh, that's what I'll get. Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Hey. will be available to all PlayStation Plus members starting October 1st. Well, if you want me to play any of those, let me know. <laughs> our library of PlayStation I'll definitely get Doki Doki. I don't know if I'll play it anytime soon. Arriving later this but Doki Doki is a good Omen, game. And Capcom's Dino Crisis. Hey. I don't. I don't know if I have access to those. I have the basic. <laughs> Adding the critically acclaimed PS5 hit, The Last of Us Part 1, to the PlayStation Plus game catalog this PS5 week. hit? PS5 hit. It's from the PS4. I guess it's the, the remaster remake version. But like, it's definitely originally a PS4 generation game. I think it, yeah, only PS4. Oh no, I like the multi-chrome, the pearlescent. Oh. Oh, that blue and purple one. Tempting. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting the console, at least. But man, does it look cool. Oh. <laughs> nah. Chroma collection. Oh, PS5 console covers. Uh, it's for the like new versions, like the slims and stuff. And I have original, so might not have it for mine. But if it is just covers, I might be into that. With PS5 Pro, developers have access to three key improvements. An upgraded GPU, advanced we'll ray tracing, it. and AI-driven upscaling. AI-driven upscaling. But like, that's a game that already looks good, so I don't know, it's kind of interesting but in the meantime, that's what they're showing. Here's a look at some of the games that are being enhanced for the new console, including a few titles that we're revealing for the very first time today. Wow. This is a time of... Yeah, there's also like the, uh... 
anniversary edition uh, PS5 and Pro. That's like the, the classic, like, matte gray. I don't know. Interesting, interesting. Do I need to... Here. I'll scoot over here for a minute. No, oh, nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> eh, whatever. Staying back here, it's fine. F1, 24, Rebirth. Ratchet, Gran Turismo, Last of Us, Part 2, Remastered, Assassin's Creed, Marvel, Spider-Man 2. Our time of our live. So many games. Many more. So stupid that the vertical stand is sold separately. Put the stupid, like, five cent piece of plastic in there. <laughs> like, I know it probably costs, you know, a little more than five cents because of all the fancy texturing and whatever, maybe. I don't know, it looked like it was just a clear thing. Uh, it can't cost them more than, like max five dollars a pop to make those and to charge like 30 bucks for it insane people come north to disappear mount yolte but you interesting you are hunting mononoke Ashtaka Doko. Every Ronin here is after you. Still think you're the hunter. Yes, I am the ultimate hunter. Yunia is the ultimate hunter. In Monster Hunter. No, definitely not. <laughs> I am such a weak <laughs> player of games. But hey, enjoyment is the important part, you know? Of course. Goodbye. I kind of am to keep sitting up until they walk away. Until they got up on their horse and trotted away. Oh, Sucker Punch. Have a sucker punch. Did they do what I think they did? No, I'm thinking of a different. I'm thinking of a different. Whatever. Uh, for some reason, I thought of Lollipop Chainsaw, but I think that's what, Suda 51 or something? Uh, whatever. Anyway, entirely different. This is just a really cool looking game. I'm always a sucker for stuff like this, of course. Oh, Sanji, or is it Niji? <laughs> oh, woo. oh, woo. that's a very chill wolf. I think that's a it's either a ko I think it's a Koto. Oh, Ghost of Yote. Okay, it's like a Ghost of Tsushima 2. Okay, and it looks like it has the, the multiplayer mode thing. Interesting. Heck yeah. Okay, lots of good stuff. Thanks for watching. But yeah, good stuff. Um, at one point the uh, Ghost of Tsushima multiplayer, like as a standalone, was free on uh, 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 PlayStation. So I played a little bit of it with my friends. It's it's very much just like a uh, you you uh, how do I describe it? There's like points that you have to defend, and there's like waves and stuff. It it's not the most uh creative mode but it isn't it is not anything bad 
uh, it had its it had its uh, unique features, but I think obviously the the point of those games is the pretty visuals of the main story. But yeah, it looks like it'll have all the stuff, so that's exciting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I never played Ghost of Tsushima. I haven't played so many games. Call me a filthy casual, please. <laughs> but yeah, there was a lot of stuff. Uh, there was that, that claymation game. That one was interesting looking. Uh, I, I need to go back and find out. What was it? What was the name? This, this one. Uh, load for me, please. Uh, playing Moonhood Studios, but I need to know a, a title, please. Please? Took a wander down the midnight. The midnight walk. Sorry, I I remind myself of things. <laughs> Otherwise I will forget. I am a forgetful corn. My one brain cell uh has to tend to, you know. Uh, the growth and health of the unicorn horn, and thus it is a little preoccupied at times. <laughs> but yeah, very exciting. That Hell is Us game also looked kind of interesting. Don't know, don't know if I'll play it, but it it sure looks cool. Yeah, I don't know if there's a demo for it. I'd I'd give it a shot for sure. And those lunar games, I I'm a sucker for like those old anime uh, uh style art oh my gosh oh so classic so good man <laughs> all the things and then fear the spotlight i think i will try and play for halloween or you know near halloween the month of halloween as it comes out like late next month i'll also be playing mario party which is definitely the spookiest game i got that pre-ordered I, it turns out there are, like, pre-order bonuses for Mario Party Jamboree, uh, at Best Buy, it's like a tote bag, uh, Target and GameStop also have one, and I think Nintendo proper also had one, but when I looked there, the Nintendo one didn't say, like, it has a pre-order bonus, so I went to the Best Buy one, uh, but uh, GameStop and Target, I think Target has, how, what did they call it, it was like a, a party tin or something like that. It was just a little like a tin cup with like Mario Party uh art printed on it. <laughs> Not very exciting. Uh and then I think GameStop just had a little like dice keychain. And I was looking at like the tweet that said all that and the responses were like, oh GameStop has the best one. Oh, this one has the best one. No. A meager little keychain is not what I'd call a great, uh, anything. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just me being, uh, greedy. I like, I like more than that. The Nintendo one, though, was apparently, like, it was like a blanket, uh, some bowls, like, with, like, star design, uh, and something else, too. It was crazy. Anyway, that's really getting off topic. I just felt like rambling. <laughs> But yeah, and then there was oh, Monster Hunter World, of course. Oh gosh, I've got like what is that? Uh, October, November, December, January. I've got four months. <laughs> We've got four months. We're gonna need to maybe grind in November. Um, maybe even next month. We'll we'll figure it out. Um, we'll we'll try and pack more Monster Hunter into the schedule. Cause gosh dang, I want to finish that. And I think we can do it. I think we can. <laughs> but yeah. And I might go look and see if they have... Ugh, I shouldn't. It doesn't matter. I don't need it. But the, those Chroma... Uh, if you can get it for the original PS5. Very tempted. <laughs> but yeah. That's what caught my eye, this presentation. Very interesting, very interesting. Uh, uh, share your thoughts down below. What did you all enjoy? Um, yeah. 
Fair. <laughs> this this is the announcement of time. <laughs> but yeah, very excited for this. I really don't need any more like uh Monster Hunter news now that I have the release date. So I don't know. I don't mind seeing stuff. I'm not like I can't be spoiled. But like, I don't know. I don't need any more to get the the hype up. It it's already hype. <laughs> but yeah. Um yeah, 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 yeah. Once again, I'd, I'd yeah, comment down below what you are interested in. Uh and I hope you have a good day night time. Uh and I will see y'all later. Goodbye.